everybody, Nettie Owens with Safari Solutions Professional Organizing coming to you with your daily tip for getting organized, managing your time, improving your systems, and being more productive. So if that sounds great to you, please come back and join me every single day. I post these both to Facebook Live, as you're seeing here. Hello, everyone. Um, and also to YouTube. And if you're interested, you can click that little button at the top left sorry, top right, and subscribe to this channel, and you'll get the daily tip delivered right to your inbox. So we're going to keep going through with our tip of the day, picking from this deck of the biggest organizing productivity time management and systems challenges from a recent presentation that I, I presented, did, right? Okay, so let's see. Yesterday we were talking about time to follow up how to find time and make time to follow up on tasks that you have set for yourself. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to go back and check that video. Ooh, okay, so there's two on here. And I'm gonna actually address the second one this time. There's two on here. Um, and there are setting boundaries and getting rid of clutter. I'm gonna talk about getting rid of clutter. Uh, because I haven't talked about that just yet. But your environment, the space that you're in, really does have a profound effect on your work and on how other people interact with you and interface with you and how much you're able to get done and your mindset and all of that. So clutter comes in three different forms. It can be physical clutter, it can be stuff, papers, digital stuff, it could be emails, it can be all that. All that stuff that you can touch that you can talk about, right? It can be time clutter. It could be the activities and things in your day. Or it could be mental clutter. It could be the thoughts in your mind, your feelings about something, stress, procrastination, all of that is mental clutter. Wherever that clutter is, it's going to be it's going to be invading your thoughts, even if you're not really aware of it, and it's going to be affecting how you get your work done. Even if you don't really feel like, oh yeah, clutter's bother, I'm in a cluttered space. People have immaculate spaces and are still worried about clutter. So it can really change um, how you get your work done. So how do you get rid of it? How do you let go of that stuff? So Barbara Hemphill says that clutter is postponed or unmade decisions. And definitely check, uh, check her resources out. Barbara Hemphill is tremendous and also productivity time management paper guru. Um, so she has some great ideas. But that definition really hits home because I haven't found a better one out there. It's the stuff that you set aside and just said, eh, I'll get back to it later or I'm not really sure what to do with this. So how do you let it go? The biggest question that I recommend people ask when they are trying to manage their clutter is how hard would it be for me to get this or come by this item or have, be involved in this activity should I let it go? If I needed it later, how hard would it be for me to get it? And it may cost you a few dollars to get it, but how hard would that be? If you're willing to live with the answer to that question, if it's comfortable for you, then you can safely let something go. If you're, another definition uh, or another methodology um, is recommended by Marie Kondo, who says that your things in your environment should spark joy. It, feel, it should feel good to have them around you. So if you pick something up and it's like, eh, it doesn't really do it for me, then that's a sign that you need to let it go. If you have papers and all of those other things, like you might in a work environment, then that can be another question. You may not feel comfortable letting things go depending on uh, whether you feel you can personally make that decision. And that's a conversation that you need to have with um, the others in your workplace. Do you have systems, paper retention policies set in place? And if not, that would be a great discussion to start to come up with some predefined terms of what you can comfortably let go of and what you need to keep. If you need help with any of that, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, that may come along. So 
As I said before, be sure to subscribe so you can get these daily tips directly into your inbox if you're doing this on YouTube. Uh, and I would welcome you to find me on LinkedIn. Just look up Nettie Owens and you will come across my profile um, and join the workplace productivity group that I have um, started there because we're talking about all of these kinds of things in that group and it's a great place for you to get support. So I'm Nettie Owens with Safari Solutions and I look forward to hearing about your success. Bye-bye.